Hello, my name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video does not contain or offer any qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial information, research, advice, or product and services. See important disclaimer at the end of this video. This video is only for your entertainment purposes. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, let's get started. DFIN went public on September 21, 2016, which was roughly five years ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Friday, July 1, 2022, we found 447 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for DFIN after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is shown, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in-progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. For now, let's dive into price and volume analysis. Hello, my name is Sam. What was end-of-day price and volume for DFIN? On Friday, July 1, 2022, DFIN had an end-of-day price of $29.87 and volume of about $0.2 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 1.98%, gaining $0.58, cents, while volume dropped 5.83%, decreasing about $0 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade days. Across a range of $3.82, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively 30.58 and 26.76. Volume saw a range of 470.2 thousand, dropping 165.8 thousand and jumping 636 thousand. Hello, my name is Magnus, how did the 1st of July 2022 rank for DFIN, by 650 calendar day look back to September 23rd 2020, across 447 trading days, of which the 1st of July 2022 price, ranked 253 while its volume ranked 273, each of the 447 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 447 being the lowest ranked day, the price's day over day percentage change, jumping 1.98% on the 1st of July 2022, had a day rank of 118 while its dollar difference of 58 cents had a rank of 105 when compared day over day across 446 trading days, volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 244 and 248. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did the 1st of July 2022 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 447 trading days, the maximum end of day price for DFIN was $51.50 while the minimum was $11.79. Within that price range, the 1st of July 2022 price of $29.87 landed within the second quartile, putting it within the 25% to 50% range of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the second quartile, that is within the 25% to 50% range of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 1.6 million and a minimum of 77.8 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, DFIN has a median price of $30.68, therefore, the 1st of July 2022 price was lower from that middle marker by 2.64%. The day's volume of 0.2 million was less than the median by 9.79%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for DFIN? Across 447 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $47.35 for 11 2021 while the minimum was $12.63 for 09 2020.
Looking at volume, 05, 2022 and 07, 2021 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 357.8 thousand and 126.9 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for DFIN? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 09, 2020 to 05, 2022, 15 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 71% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 21 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end of month max of 2.59% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 1.10%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 36.39% and 0.33%. Hello, my name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to Ticker DD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos of subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docuseries about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the Ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has DFIN price reached gold? Golden or Death Crosses. Golden Cross and Death Cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5-day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a Golden Cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average. Vice versa, a Death Cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis of third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black. If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end of day prices. For simple moving average, by comparing 50 to 200 days, we found a bearish death cross signal because the 50 day SMA crossed below the 200 day. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 30 to 50, we found death cross signal for the 10 to 20. Hello, my name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here is what I found. Donnelly Financial Solutions Inc. operates as a risk and compliance solutions company worldwide. The company operates through four segments, Capital Markets Software Solutions CMSS Capital Markets Compliance and Communications Management CMC CM Investment Companies Software Solutions ICSS and Investment Companies Compliance and Communications Management ICCCM. The CMSS segment provides venue active disclosure eBrevia and other solutions to public and private companies to manage public and private transaction processes extract data and analyze contracts collaborate and tag validate and file SEC documents. The CMCCM segment offers tech-enabled services and print and distribution solutions to public and private companies for deal solutions and SEC compliance requirements. The ICSS segment provides provides clients with the Arc Suite platform that contains a comprehensive suite of cloud-based solutions and services that enable storage and management of compliance and regulatory information in a self-service and central repository for accessing assembling editing translating rendering and submitting documents to regulators. The ICCCM
OEM segment offers clients with tech-enabled solutions for creating and filing regulatory communications and solutions for investor communications as well as XBRL formatted filings pursuant to the Investment Act through the SEC Edgar system. This segment also provides turnkey proxy services including discovery planning and implementation print and mail management solicitation tabulation services shareholder meeting review and expert support. Donnelly Financial Solutions Inc. was founded in 1983 and is headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. Hello, it is me again, Lily. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. On April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer, this video and its content video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from Ticker DD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by Ticker DD, is only for this group of novices' private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.